This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, good morning, friends. Shalom Aleichem, Baruch Ha'abam. We have uh, three beautiful subjects to discuss today. First, we're going to do Davar Yafa Bi'itai, which is one of my favorite uh, times of the week, connecting the Parsha to the Zman of the Year. Last night, I had a Simcha in the city, and Baruch Hashem, in the car, we had special Siat uh, Shmaya to connect Parsha Tzav to the Zman Hashana. Before we begin, a few public service announcements. The Sefer on Lag Ba'imer is 95% written, 50% edited, 33% fully submitted. So uh, we're really trying to finish up over the next... Mm, before Pesach, but not just before Pesach, maybe even Rosh Chodesh Nisan, B'siyat de Shmaya. So anybody who would like to be Mishtatev, that's available. The Sefer on Chinuch Chabanim has been fully submitted to the editor. So that also, Bez Shem, is, uh, you know, well in the queue. If anybody would like to be Mishtatev. Um, we're going to go to the Mar Mekoymais. For uh, listeners out there, if you want to receive the Mar Mekoymais to your inbox, please go to our site, RabbiDG.com, and just subscribe and you will get the Mar Mekoymais twice a week. Davar Yafa Be'itai. Here we go. What is the connection between Parsha Tzav and Parsha Tzav and the Zman Hashana? So it's interesting. You know, almost always Tzav is uh, Shabbos Hagadol. You, know, you remember that? Tzav is almost always Shabbos Hagadol. This year it's not Shabbos Hagadol because it's an Ibriyar. But generally, it's uh, Shabbos Haggadah. And my friend, Rabbi Yisrael Yezer Levi, sent me that if you look in Shulchan Aruch HaRachayim, Simen Tav Chaf Tes Siv Dalad. Tav Chaf Tes Siv Dalad. Really, it's, um, it's a great find. The Shulchan Aruch says, Simen, um, that Parshas Tzav, is almost always Parsha Tzav is almost always um, Shabbos Hagadol, and uh, the reason for that, the Ber Halacha says, is because it speaks about Hagalas Kalim. So here we have a uh, very beautiful source that not only is there a connection between the Parsha, but sort of the Shulchan Aruch itself legislates that there needs to be a, that there, that there is a connection to the Parsha. So that's um, a great find to, not only is the Parsha connected to the Zman Hashana, but it's even sort of ordained from the Shulchan Aruch itself. Now, here's something very interesting. Parsha Tzav speaks about the carbon toida. It should say it's a mistake. Parsha Tzav speaks about the carbon toida. It says, Im al toida yakrivena, vehikriv al zeva chatoida, chalois matzois, belulois bashemen, or akike matzois, meshuchem bashemen. It's interesting that Parsha Tzav <coughs> talks about carbon, uh, the carbon toida. You know why that's important? Because that's very connected to the carbon Pesach. Again, Sav is almost always laned in the week before Pesach. And the whole Inyan of the carbon Pesach is a carbon Pesach, is a carbon Taida. If you look in the Drasha of the Chassam Soifer, he brings from the Abarbanel that the carbon uh, Pesach is a carbon Tamid. And therefore, it's uh, how relevant it is, how appropriate it is that the Indian of a, par- of a carbon Tamid is discussed in the Parsha before Pesach, because that is what a carbon Pesach is. And even the Matzah that we eat on Pesach is very much connected to the Lachme Toida, the bread brought with the carbon Toida. The Rosh in Arve Psachim br- brings, and it's brought in the Torn Archaim Simetav He, that the Minhag in Ashkenaz and in Sarfas in Germany and France is to take one Isarain 
um, is to take one Yisarayin, and out of that Yisarayin to make the three Matzais. Why? Because the Lachmei Toida came from one Yisarayin. And we're going to see what this means. Because usually if somebody comes out of jail, they bring a Lachmei Toida. Now, the Lachmei Toida, you had three types of Matzais, Chalois Matzais, Rekikin, or Ravucha. And each, that, that's a total of 30. The 30 were made out of 10 Yisarayin, and 3 were made out of 1 Yisarayin. Because the 10, you had 10, 10, and 10. Chalois, Rekikin, or Vucha. Each 10 was 3 and a 30 Yisarayin. So each group of 3 was Yisarayin Echad. So the way we're supposed to make our matzah is to parallel the Lachmei Toida. So it's amazing. We make our matzah to parallel the Lachmei Toida. By the way, the, the Beis Yosef explains what's the connection between the Lachmei Toida and matzahs. He says, because when, when someone who comes out of jail, he brings um, Lachmei Toida. And on Pesach, Klal Yisrael were released from uh, prison of Mitzrayim. And the Mordechai also says that. So it comes out that the whole Indian of... It comes out that the Indian of carbon Pesach, which is a carbon Toida, as well as, according to the Abarbanel, and the Indian of Matzah, which is also like the Lachmei Toida, so these are halachas that are discussed in Parsha Tzav. Now, the biggest subject discussed in the Parsha is the subject of the karba, Karbanois Miluim, the Par, the Ayel Ho'echad, the Ayel Hasheni, now we cited before from the Chassam Soifer, who brings the Abarbanel, that a carbon Pesach is a carbon Toida. And the Abarbanel explains that if the carbon Pesach is a carbon Toida, this is the question of the Manishtana, that typically a carbon Toida has Chametz Umatza. It has Matzah bread and also Chametz bread. So the question is, Manishtana Halaylaza Mikal Halaylois. Shabachal Halaylois, when we bring a carbon toida, Oichlim Chametz Umatza. The carbon toida usually has Chametz and Matzah. Halayla Hazah, but this night, Matzah. Only Matzah, meaning this tar- Tamid, this, ta- um, this toida, this carbon toida of the Karm Pesach only has. Matzais. So the question of the Manishtana is, if in fact the carbon Pesach is a carbon Toida, why do we only bring Matzah and not Chametz U Matzah? And the Chsam Soifer says that this is such a good question that we don't have a good answer. You hear? The Chassam Soifer says, well, that's a good question. So what's the answer? And the Chassam Soifer says that in fact, the carbon Pesach is not exactly a carbon Toida. But rather, it's a carbon Shalmei Miluim. It's a carbon Miluim. Because Hashem is inaugurating us and initiating us from Zaros, from being a foreigner, from Tiuv, from... Abomination, El HaKadusha, to holiness. So in other words, the carbon tamid, excuse me, the carbon toida, is a carbon miluim, the Chassam Seifer says. And when it comes to the carbon miluim, it's an open Mishnah that they only brought matzah and not chametz. So think about it. The, the Abarbanel learns the carbon uh, the carbon Pesach was a carbon Toida, and the Indian of carbon Toida is in Parshat Tzav. The Chassam Soifer learns the carbon Pesach is a carbon Miluim. Carbon Miluim is the main subject of Parshat Tzav. Isn't that Oyem Venoira? Isn't that amazing? The main subject of Parshat Tzav is the Miluim. And that's what a carbon Pesach is. Raise your hand if you think that's amazing. It's unanimous. It's unanimous. Wow. Everybody, so for everybody who's not on the screen, raise their hand. It's amazing. Every single person. So, um, it comes out that the main subject of 
Parshas Tzav is very relevant. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, the main subject of Parshas Tzav is uh, the essence and the main theme of the Karban Pesach, be it a Karban Miluim and be it a Karban Toida. The Rush says explicitly it's a Karban Toida. And in our humble Sefer, um, Magad Rakiyam Pesach, we bring uh, at length the Inyan that the uh, carbon. Mm-hmm. We bring in the Inyan that the carbon uh, Pesach is a carbon miluim because it's initiating Klal Yisrael into Avodas Hashem because Pesach was the the leda, the birth of the Jewish people. So, okay, that's the first offering. We have Davar Yafa Beitai. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.